An important component of air quality research is the study of fungi and their potential effect on human health. Gathering samples is the first step. Assume that this didn't have a fungus on it, so you have a petri dish with a medium, so we will take it and um, we'll put over this simple device over here, we'll take the lids off and let it expose outdoor. And so what we're trying to do here as the wind, if the air is moving of a particulate in the air, some of those particulate will deposit on the medium. So if it contain fungi, then it will lead to the formation of fungi, like you see here on this particular petri dish. So this actually came out outdoors. And uh, once we get this, then we let we incubate the plate, meaning we'll let it go through a certain time at a given temperature so that the organism particles that have been trapped here will get a chance to grow. And once we get the chance to grow, then we go in and try to identify them. Outdoor samples can also consist of rainwater. No matter what type of samples are collected, they are all tested using growth media and monitored over time to see if fungi are present. We use a, a series of uh, features to identify this. For instance, as you can see by the different plate, they're pretty colorful. So one first step, we go by color. We'll see what are the colors and sort them by color. We also go by texture. For instance, uh, you will see on this plate, it's kind of powdery. It's a green color organism growing. And if you look at closely on the surface, you can see uh, some bumps on it. So it's not smooth as opposed to another organism like this where it is kind of smooth. The fungi are categorized, counted, and separated, and a pure culture of each type of fungus is established in a petri dish. They are studied under a microscope and may be subject to DNA analysis for more specific identification. That whole area of uh, fungi in the air, which has now been put under a discipline called the aerobiology. So aerobiology is really looking at particulate matter in the air that might be uh, of concern to human uh, health and all other aspects of human living. It's an exciting area and we do not have a lot of people working on that area. So I think it's an exciting and I would like to, to, to really invite students to look into that area. Those who are interested in environmental science, environmental quality, to explore uh, fungi in the air and um, it has a real possibilities that many of the problems that we have like uh, valley, valley fever or other pulmonary diseases related to air quality that someone can come up with a management uh, system to help people deal with this. Since we're Iran, we're always Iran, we will be Iran, we're not here to go. So we need to find system that will allow us to cohabitate with them and at the same time uh, minimizing our risk of uh, being uh, sickened by fungi. For more information on air quality along the border, please visit nmborderair.nmsu.edu. This project was funded by the New Mexico Department of Health, Office of Border Health. The proceeding was a production of New Mexico State University.